Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some mustard fried pork chops. Yep. So let's get it started. This one is going to be a quick one because it's quick and simple. And I just have a few pieces here. But you already know when I'm doing things like this, I always keep the seasonings basic. I don't overpower it because the mustard is the star of the show. And I already have some seasoned flour here, which is seasoned with the same seasonings that you see here already. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video, so that's already done. So before I get to seasoning these pork chops, what I'm going to do is take the pork chops and slit a little cut right in the middle, just so that when I am frying them, it doesn't rise up in the middle and not fry on both sides. Well, one side will be fried and the other side would just be, you know, like um, it'll bubble up in the middle and it won't, you know, fry. It won't be as crispy. So I'm going to do that to the four of them, just a little slit. I definitely recommend that you do this if you don't already know to. And these are already cleaned and patted dry. Okay. Seems like that didn't go all the way through. Yep. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's get to seasoning these guys. So I'm going to go down with our black pepper. And I like to use the dry seasonings on there before I put on the uh, the mustard. Okay, some onion powder. And there's no specific measurements to this. You just do exactly you know what you would normally do, but make sure you put the mustard and you should be fine to get these fabulous flavors in your pork chops garlic powder and got some seasoning salt which can also be called some all-purpose seasoner just a little of that you don't want to be you don't want to overpower your uh your meat with um seasoning salt because the mustard has salt in it already and also the seasoned flour does so I'm going to go down with a little Tony Sacheris Creole seasoning Sure, you guys are familiar with that. If not, you better go get you some. All right, so I'm going to give this a little thorough mix. Make sure that the seasonings are on both sides. Okay. Looks about fine to me. Yep. All right, now we're going to hit it with our mustard. At least about two tablespoons of dough. And it's not gonna taste like mustard. This is just definitely, you know, a binder and as well as a, a flavoring, but it's not gonna taste like mustard. By the time it hits that oil and with your flour already on it and you already have your seasoning, it totally changes the flavor. All right, so I'm gonna let this hang out for about maybe 15, 20 minutes before I put it inside of our seasoned flour just so that the seasonings can get all through and out. See that? I got my grease already preheating. All right, so I'll be back after about 15, 20 minutes and we'll bread this up together. Neat. All right, so our pork chops have been marinating long enough. So I'm gonna throw them into our seasoned flour. And I'm gonna be using a bowl with a top because I'm gonna be shaking this up. So I'm gonna do just two at a time because of the space that I have. And you wanna just at least try and put some of the flour on top before you start shaking it up because you don't want the rawness of the, uh, the meat to be at the top of the, the bowl and it'll take all your seasoning off. 
Okay. All right, and my oil is already preheating. So let's see how this looks. All right, Give it a little press for the bare spots. A little shake. You can tell it's gonna have some sort of crispiness to it. <laughs> so what I am going to do is allow it to hang out on my uh, rack just for a few minutes to get the flour to be able to stick to uh, to the meat so that we don't kill our oil with too much excess flour. Besides what I'm gonna shake off, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the two, and then we're gonna head over to the stove so we can start frying our pork chops because my oil is ready. All right, guys, so that oil is ready, and our pork chops are ready to go in. And that's what it looks like after I let it sit for a little bit. Gonna be dropping two at a time. All right, guys, so I'm gonna let that go and midway up to when it's time to flip. I'll be right back to show you guys exactly what it looks like. All right, guys, so let's take a look at these chops. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. See what we're working with here. All right. All right, nice and golden brown here. Beautiful. Just gonna flip them so the other side can get some color and some crisp. Looks good to me. Looks good to you. All right. Let's flip that. Turn that a little. All right. I'm gonna take those out in about two minutes. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take these out right now. Just want it to be crispy enough. Looks crispy enough to me on both sides. You don't want to overcook these because these will dry out very quickly. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, let's put those other two in. Okay, like the first batch, I'll be back midway when it's time to flip them. It's time to check on that second batch. But let me show you the first batch before. They've been on my cooling rack. These look amazing. I'm sure they're gonna taste good too. All right, let's see what these are doing over here. Beautiful. Nice. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna let those go for a few more minutes. Then it's time to plate up. Looks like these are done, so I'm going to take them out. I am happy with the results. Perfect, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna continue to let this excess oil drip off before I touch them and let them cool down slightly because I don't want to burn myself. And I'll taste them for you guys and let you know just how they came out. All right, guys, so I went ahead and plated them up for us. They look nice and crispy, and we are about to see. Okay, so which one, which one? Mm, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go over here see what's happening. Mm. 
perfectly cooked. And boy, are these flavorful. Man, there's something about that mustard, man. Tastes amazing. Doesn't taste like mustard at all. These are perfectly cooked and they are so good. So guys, I recommend that you try this recipe. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more recipes. So that's the end of this video, guys. See you in the next one. I'm